Today I'm gonna do the infamous YouTuber video called What's in My Bag with my Felroy Tokyo Tote. All right, let's get into this. So I'm gonna tell you a little story about this bag. I wanted this bag for a very, very long time. It was $129 on Amazon and something said, go to Belroy's website, 89 bucks. But to my surprise, as I've recently checked on Amazon, they have also lowered their price on Amazon to the price that they also show on their website. So now you can get this bag for $89.99 and it's so worth it guys. Like. I was hesitant to buy something this expensive. I don't normally spend $100. If I do, it's usually something like real leather that I know I'm gonna use for a long time. But I wanted something everyday carry. I wanted something minimal looking, something that would go with everything. And I wanted a tote form. And also, of course, for work every day, which now I'm just home. <laughs> 2020, I'm home. Uh, so when I got this bag, I was really surprised to find out that this is actually made with recycled plastic bottles. So this is definitely for those of you environmental enthusiasts or minimalists, this is a really good reason to buy a bag also. Um, but anyways, the quality is amazing and I honestly wish they would get into designing purses because Belroy is doing in this tote bag what Dagny Dover is doing in their purses. If you're looking for something with a lot of storage, a lot of pockets for you to put little things in, but also have like an easy reach, this is a really good bag. This is a really good tote bag. Let's start off with my little flare since it is October, 2020. I'll just show you. I like to put a cute little, let's see, there we go. Whenever I have a bag that's all black, I like to add one of my enamel pins to it. I just feel like it's cute. It's like a little statement piece. And because I carry it on this side, a lot of times people will see this and they'll compliment it or something. It's a good little conversation starter. So um, this doesn't have any pockets in the front and you'll see why, but you do get a zipper in the back. And it's just a little, let's see, I think it goes down to about right here. Uh, what I like about the zipper is it's got one of those shields on the outside of the zipper, basically making it water, pretty much waterproof. Same thing with the internal zipper. It um, actually, I'm sorry, it doesn't have the rubber shield, but you at least have an enclosure. And then of course it's gonna be under your arm. So if it's pouring, you can zip it, run. Most likely you're not gonna get anything inside of this. So here's what I love about this bag. When I say that it resembles Dagny Dover, I might even wanna say that this bag has been out before Dagny Dover. <laughs> so let's see here if you can see in there. So this is the laptop sleeve. And this is supposed to fit, I believe, up to a 15 inch laptop. It works. And the reason why it doesn't have a zipper here is because you have the main zipper here to keep someone from stealing your, your laptop. Um, let's see, you've also got two side pockets. And again, these pockets go all the way down to the bottom of the bag, but here's the best part. And this is what I wish every purse maker or purse designer could like finally consider that there are women carrying water bottles. There are moms carrying their water bottle or their child's sippy cup. Look at this. Bam. Let's see if you can see that. You have a huge open side pocket and then you get another one. And it's, I wouldn't say it's magnetic, but it kind of slaps like snaps back, snaps closed. So again, it kind of keeps it closed even though it's an open pocket. 
I use it to put stuff in there. Of course, if I have a water bottle and my child's sippy cup, it's sitting right on top of my stuff. So let's go through the bag so I can then show you what it looks like empty because here's the thing. I've watched a lot of these what's in my bag videos and the one thing that annoys me <laughs> so much is when people never show the bag. I, I feel like it's logical to me. Most of the time when I'm watching a what's in your bag video, I wanna see the purse. That's usually why I'm clicking on your YouTube thumbnail. So I'm gonna give you a thorough tour of my purse. All right, let's get through my purse. In one of the reach-in pockets, I just have this cute little physician's formula. Let me get closer. I have this cute little physician's formula hand sanitizer spray that smells so good y'all smells like roses this was about three bucks and i figured i could always find something else to refill this with got two pens so this is my bic four color pen you can also get this in pastel colors which i do have and then you can get a different base part as well and this is, this is my current favorite pen ever. It's just some pen I picked up for free. Um, you know when you get those free pens from like a real estate agent or a doctor's office or something and you start writing with it and you're like, oh my goodness, I love this pen. So I've been through two of those already and this is my third one. I'm such a stationary person that it's really easy for me to go on Amazon or go into Target and buy a new pen. So I'm basically using what I already have. Let's see. Oh, I found my James Avery bracelet. This is one of my masks that I actually got off of Etsy. I have this cute little pouch. So even though this bag has a lot of internal pouches, I also like to organize again with pouches. So I kind of have this thing that whenever I go thrift shopping, usually Goodwill, sometimes it's savers, I like to go look in the wallet section where they will have all sorts of cute little makeup bags and little pouches. So this is one of them that I found. It is so cute. Just look at the print. It's like a canvas and it's an envelope style. I just love looking at that. I don't know. I, I, that's just part of being a female, but also I was a graphic design major in my 20s. I was an art major, graphic design major, so I get really attracted to prints. This is one of those pouches that folds into itself. I got a set of these, five of these on Amazon, and I'll put the link in description. But yeah, here's another pouch. Now this, little story behind this, I love the stories behind things in people's purses, so maybe you'll enjoy hearing mine, but this little pouch, it's an Ipsy pouch, okay? Look how cute it is. So I actually found this at a Goodwill and I had to have it. And ironically, <laughs> because it has witches on it, I use this. This is actually my official little you know, menstrual cycle emergency kit. So I have like one little tampon in here. I still have some little feminine intimate wipes in case you're stuck somewhere and you really, you know, can't carry around the, uh, the baby wipes all the time. Of course, just like a little panty liner and one that's a little bit bigger. So that's what I grab and when it's not that time of the month, I put it back under my sink so it's one less thing in my purse. Ooh, I got some gum. I've always loved anything wintergreen. Found a battery. That My kid must have put that in there. So here's another cute little clear pouch that I found at a thrift store. So here's the funny thing. I thought this was so cute because it's got sparkles on it. And then I realized it's milk makeup. And look, I mean, I think I've worn most of this off, but let's see, look how cute. It had like a holographic eye on there. And that's like the zipper pull. So it's really cute. Again, I love clear, clear is what I normally do. 
That way I know what's in there. So let's go through this. I've got some Clorox. Definitely need those in 2020. I have the cutest little mini hand sanitizer. Somebody gave for free. New home source professional. I'm in real estate, so I'm sure I got this when I was a realtor. <laughs> but it is so tiny. Look, it's like the palm of my hand. I still haven't used all of it. I can always refill this. Mini Advil. Definitely need the Advil. Y'all, let me tell you. When you got a headache, okay, you need to get rid of that headache. I am not productive with a headache. Got some Renew Bosch and Loam because I wear contacts and the worst pain I've ever experienced is when there is something in your eye while you're driving. And worse is when you really are not in a spot to just pull over. Like on the freeway, out in the middle of nowhere, driving to Houston, going 80 miles an hour and it's dark outside <laughs> with your kid in the back. I keep what I call is super duper emergency. So I don't keep a full bag of makeup. That would really weigh down this, this tote. I've got a little physician's formula powder. It's just a simple powder. Here's another one, Arganware concealer. And what I love about this, even though I don't really use this as a makeup applicator, but the tip of it is a little sponge. So it just, it kind of helps when you're, you know, like dabbing around your eyes, but then I still go at it with my fingers. This is from the Dollar Tree, you guys. <laughs> it's just a little mini, 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 mini. And the reason why I carry, let me see if I can do that. And the reason why I keep little minis in here that I kind of look at the things as like, what would happen if my purse got stolen? Well, I don't want to put the expensive things that I use, like my Bad Gal Lash, that's like $24. These little containers, I actually purchased on Amazon and I think I got 10 for a price, but they're cute little airless pumps. Anyways, one of these is sunscreen, one is moisturizer. You always need sunscreen and you know, if it's the fall or the winter and your skin's really dry, um, I can usually tell by the smell. Oh, this is cute. So here's what's funny is I have that milk that milk makeup pouch that I found at a thrift store. Well, this, I actually found this at like TJ Maxx for $4.99. It's a little highlighter stick. Again, I'm obsessed with travel size stuff. They are not always the best deals, but convenience of being able to carry more stuff in your purse that you would normally carry like an entire makeup bag. I don't do that. So here's an eyebrow. This is by Revolution. Again, I normally buy Benefit. So expensive. And I've been experimenting with trying to find a lot of other eyebrow stuff. I'm not wearing this right now. I actually use my Benefit brow. But let me tell you something about this. This is so much darker than the darkest Benefit. And this was half the price of the travel size. <laughs> it was like $7. You can get this at Ulta. Here's the cutest little thing that I've had for a few years now. It's a little mirror. Let's see, it says, Hola Bonita. I found this too at uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those stores. I didn't need this and I'm not someone who is ever in a place where I don't have a mirror or that I'm not in my car, but I couldn't resist this. I love anything with Spanish sayings. If you guys are catching on to my tattoos, Spanish, Spanish theme. I'm not Spanish, but I am part Italian. Wallet. I actually found this wallet, y'all, at Goodwill. I thought it was really cute for my tradition. Like what I really love to have is your trifold. All right. So I'm gonna show you this bag again. I'm still not done going through my stuff. This bag holds a lot. So yeah, there's that one. All right, so let's go through this one. Got a little brush. I got this at Ulta. I have this little reusable straw that comes with a little, this is the cutest thing, y'all. 
Ooh, sorry about that. It unscrews, so I feel like it's a little bit more secure. And it actually comes, I don't have much for nails going on right now, but it actually comes with the brush in it. And then of course it pops out like a little telescope and then it's got the rubber end. And of course it's rose gold, can't beat that. I'll put that in there. You know, a lot of bars here aren't giving away straws anymore. It's really my son's little diaper bag thing, but I actually keep this on me because, well, for him, you know, he's still in diapers. I'm still trying to potty train him. Um, if I need to put his diaper in a bag, but also if you need, if you've got some trash that's been accumulating in your car, just pull one of those babies out. Let's see. Oh, this right here. Let me show you what this is. Okay. Remember when I told you that my purse got stolen a few months ago? I normally do when I go anywhere where there's a shopping cart, I take the, the kitty straps and I strap my purse in. And I don't remember what happened on that day, but maybe I unstrapped it and they came and took it out of my bag. Like they were watching me the whole time, which is scary. But I got this, it's, it's actually for strollers. See, you can like hang your bags and put this on the stroller. But I also got this in case I go somewhere and I need a secure, not that I'm gonna leave my bag somewhere, but I mean, either way, whether you wanted to put this around here or whether you wanted to, you know, hook, I guess, hook the strap in there like that, okay? Let me just tell you, if somebody comes to even grab your purse, they are, it's gonna pull them back. The sucker is strong. Most of the time, they're not gonna fight you. If it's diff if it's too difficult, they're they're gonna run. But this also has this lock right here. Let me see if I need that. So you can also lock it even further. Pack of three, got them on Amazon. I will put them in the link in the description down below. I keep one in my purse, one in my car, and I still have a stroller. So I have the other one on the stroller. Let's see. Oh, pop voice. This is my little lav lavalier mic. If I'm feeling inspired and I'm on the go, I'm gonna pop that sucker into my iPhone so you can get a little better audio quality. Tech junkie pouch. Again, I got this a long time ago. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one of those places. Now, what came inside was super cheap and of course I've had to replace it with my Apple stuff. Apple headphones, and then I actually have one of the plug-in pieces. I mean, it's everything you need right there. Especially if I lose my AirPods or one of them goes out and it is just completely dead. I have a backup pair of headphones. I need my music and my podcast, okay? Oh yeah, so here's my Apple AirPods. Again, purse got stolen with the ones I actually paid full price for. So the second set I actually got used on eBay. I don't wanna go out and buy a brand new pair. I'm, I'm still waiting for Apple to make the regular ones with like a crazy 10 hour battery time. I use these so much, I wanted a second pair, but it's actually like a taupe neutral color, which I think is very ladylike, very modern. Well, I got more, I know. Here's another, oh, just another, just another mask waiting to not have to use it. Oh yes. One of my favorite things, Rosebud Salve. Let me tell you a little ditty about Rosebud. Oh, this one smells so good. It's not overly greasy or anything, but look how, oh, look how pretty that is. It's not a tint of color. Brambleberry Rose Lip Balm. The Brambleberry flavor or smell, it's not a flavor, but it's a smell, is really hard to find. You can't find this at Sephora. But I have been using this for 17 years now. I mean, when I first decided to start buying anything from Sephora, I was in my mid-20s, living in Los Angeles, 
finally getting sucked into the lifestyle of shopping and makeup and all that girly stuff. But this is the one thing that I carry with me all the time. I have one in my car, have one in my makeup vanity. I have another one in my makeup bag that stays in my car. So if I have to grab and go put makeup on somewhere, I've got something. And I really don't wear lipstick. This is what I wear. I've been using this forever. This one little tin, if this is all you used every day, this will last you for a year. All right, third time's a charm. Battery went out again. I feel like there's no way I've sat here for 29 minutes each time that this battery pack has gone out. What I was just talking about, which is the Rosebud Salve, this stuff is amazing. It's just, it's like the perfect amount of gloss for it to look really natural on your lips. This is not a lip gloss, it is not a lipstick, it is not even a tinted colored lip balm, but I do feel like when you put it on, it just brings out like the natural pink in your lips. And I'm a very minimal person when it comes to makeup. Um, I'll even do like a full face of makeup and then I will just put that on and that's it. We've gone through everything. So here's the bag completely empty. I'm gonna sell everybody on this bag. This is how much I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Honestly, once I've gotten used to this bag, I don't think I could downgrade. I, I would consider it a downgrade to go to one of their other current totes. The other cool thing about this bag is for some reason, I, I haven't found myself switching out my purses nearly as often even when it's the weekend. When it's the weekend, I you know, would just kind of get out of my work bag and into a purse. But once you get used to the structure of a really great bag, you just want to use it everywhere you go, even if you go out. So I forgot one of the best features about this bag. Rubber grips. They put these rubber grip strips on the inside and this thing doesn't go anywhere y'all. It really doesn't. And you might think that this is a thin strap, but it's made really, really well. Bellroy, if you're listening, send me anything you want. I will do <laughs> the best reviews geared towards females that you've ever seen in your life. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.